Hey everyone, it's Kenji. I'm here at my restaurant Worst Hall and I'm making myself a bulgogi hoagie for lunch. <clears throat> so, bulgogi hoagie is basically what it sounds like. It's a, uh, it's a Philly style cheesecake. It's cheese steak, not cheesecake, cheese steak, uh, but with a few um, Korean ingredients added, mainly kimchi. Um, I first had one at the um, Broadway Cafe in um, <clears throat> Ann Arbor, Michigan, where they serve cheesesteaks, and you can ask them. It's run by a Korean run cheesesteak shop, and you can ask for kimchi on your cheesesteak. It wasn't officially called the Bulgogi Hoagie, but that's just what the people I knew there um, called it. So, cheesesteak, um, traditionally made with thinly sliced ribeye, just like Bulgogi. Um, this is actually a thinly sliced chuck roll that I got um, from the Japanese market. This is stuff intended for shabu shabu, um, but it's gonna work great for cheesesteak. <clears throat> So there's a couple of schools of thought when it comes to cheesecake. Um, you know, some of the places, some of the bigger places will do slices of steak and put the whole slices into the uh, into the sandwich. Um, my favorite cheesesteak in Philly, uh, it's in North Philly, it's a place called D'Alessandro's. Um, and they do kind of a sort of chopped up version. So rather than, rather than leaving the slices whole, they intentionally chop them up fine. I think it gives the whole sandwich a better texture. And it might just be because uh, Maybe it might just be because I'm from New York and, and in New York there's a famous deli sandwich called the chopped cheese, which is basically um, a hamburger patty that's chopped up and served like a cheesesteak. All right, so I got my beef going. I got these onions that I started here a little while ago. Not caramelized really, more just kind of sort of translucent and lightly seared on the outside. And then these are the key ingredients, some kimchi, And then I'm gonna do some pickled Fresno chilies. Um, I think pickled chilies are sort of an essential cheesecake fla cheese steak flavor. Um, they really cut through the meat and the cheese. So whether you're going traditional or bulgogi hoagie, um, pickled peppers are a must. For seasoning, I'm doing just a little salt. And then this is um, the, uh, the spice mix we use in our um, to make the chili oil for our Korean fried chicken here. Um, it's basically gochugaru, so Korean chili flakes, black sesame, black pepper, a little cayenne. Uh, I believe that's it actually. So just a little bit of that, give it some heat. And we are sort of approaching doneness now. With cheesesteak, you really don't want to overcook and dry out that meat. Once the, uh, once the color's there, Almost good to go. All right, last things. I'm gonna do a couple slices of American cheese here. What I like to do, flip the whole thing over, really work that cheese in. So it's becomes sort of an integrated part of the sandwich and melts throughout, as opposed to just kind of resting on top. Now, it's hard to find a great hoagie roll, a great, um, you know, bun here in the Bay Area. So the best I could do is what I found at my local uh, supermarket. The key is that you want it to be soft, not super crusty. Um, but not, you know, have enough body, have enough heft inside that um, it's going to uh, stand up to the juices. Because hopefully your cheesesteak is juicy. Oh yeah. Now if you can't find that shabu shabu meat, by the way, you can you can hand slice beef, just get some ribeye or some chuck roll or, or any steak really and freeze it for about 15 minutes and then slice it with a real sharp knife um, or if you have a good deli at your supermarket or a good deli nearby that does their own in-house roast beef and does it rare, you can start with rare roast beef um, and ask them to slice it really, really thin and then fry, cook it just like you're making a cheesesteak. And the final, hmm, that's good. I mean, the final thing you could do is buy like steakums or something like that. 
All right, let's split this open and see how we did. Mmm. Look at that. So, Korean spices, pickled Fresnos, kimchi, beef, American cheese. Mmm. Oh boy. <laughs> Is that a dripping good time? <laughs> All right, everyone. I'm gonna go make a mess here. Guys, gals, non-binary pals, I will see you next time and thanks. Stay safe.